in the upstairs kitchen making another salad for you. I promised you I would. Don't doubt. Thank you, Catalina Treats, for your collaboration that you are hosting. I'm so glad to be a part of it. Today I'm going to be making the original recipe that I thought I would bring to you if I was just making one salad. It is a pasta salad that my grandma used to make. I don't really even know the name of it. I had to call, or I made a group text this morning with my aunt, my cousins, my mom, my sister, and I said, you know that pasta salad that grandma used to make with the Velveeta and the Dorothy Lynch and all that? Can someone send me that recipe? Because I can't find it and I really want to make it today. So here I am. I will post a recipe for this one down below, although we are altering it a little bit because, you know, that's the way we do. <laughs> but I will actually have a recipe for you, even though I'm not going to use any measurements today because I just don't cook a lot with measurements. I do baking, but when I cook, it's just from my heart. It's from what's in my pantry. It's just how it goes. But let's forget about all that and get zoomed in and make this delicious salad for you today. So we have that other half. It's about eight ounces of cooked pasta sitting here waiting for us. I flipped over the cutting board and we're gonna get busy chopping on some veggies. I had one of these pre-packaged, washed and pre-paired broccoli and cauliflower mixtures. It was in my, uh, oops, it was in my fridge for a little bit, more than I'd like to admit. We picked through a lot of the cauliflower, so it's mostly broccoli, but I wanted to go ahead and give it a good rinse so that we can get in here and just kinda give it a rough chop it's kind of fun to have I'm gonna pick through make sure there's no bad pieces it's kind of fun to have big pieces and small pieces there's no real set way you have to do it but we like lots of veggies and I want to get this used up we didn't make the soup like I thought I would we ended up just nibbling on it with some dip We love ranch in this house. What about you? Now the broccoli kind of falls apart more than the cauliflower does. So you could chop your broccoli up a little bit or your cauliflower up a little bit more if you want. That's it. Just a nice rough cut. Remember that pepper? Yep, this is one of those recipes I wanted to use it for. Now, if you really want to make the salad colorful, my sister remembers grandma using red, yellow, and green pepper. But this is what I have in the kitchen today. And honestly, they taste pretty similar anyway. I do think that the colored ones are a little bit sweeter because they get to be in the sun just a little bit longer to change that color. Did you know that most peppers, bell peppers that start out are always green and then later turn red? Just a nice chop on those. And here is another one that my aunt said that she remembers Grandma putting in black olives. So I'm going to chop up some of those too. Whoops. Gotta eat that one. You know, I kind of forget how easy salads are to throw together. It doesn't take any time at all. 
And usually they're so forgiving on what ingredients you use. I'm gonna have to have confession time. I've done a bad thing, friends. Grandma's secret was Velveeta. That's right. Instead of using the hard cheese, like we used in the pea salad, Grandma would use a soft Velveeta. And I knew I had one in my cabinet. But it's queso! That's not gonna work. So, my choices are to get the hard cheese out and dice some of it and put in there, and it would be fine. But I also have a few slices of this processed cheese, so I think it would be soft like the Velveeta one. So we're just gonna use this. Shh, don't tell mom. Ideally, I would have more of this cheese but that's what was left in the refrigerator. So we're gonna make do. And I'll just chop it into smaller bits to make it kind of spread. But before I add this cheese, I'm gonna add the dressing. Bum ba da da. Yep, Dorothy Lynch. That's right. You can use any French, but we like the Dorothy. We're supposed to use about a cup. Eh, we'll see how that works. I'm gonna give this a quick stir because that cheese I want to add last. Remember. This pasta was pre-cooked and had set in the refrigerator, so it kind of dried out. So I'm looking to see if it's going to absorb up a lot of this dressing. I may need to add a little bit more. There we go. And now I'm gonna start throwing in some of this cheese. It's wanting to stick together anyway. So it looks like chunks of Velveeta. Do you think my family will know? Let's go ahead and give this a stir. See, from a distance, doesn't that look like Velveeta? Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh my. This, to me, Reminds me of summer. Now, my husband says he remembers Grandma making this at Thanksgiving time, too. And she might have. It was a popular salad that she made that everyone loved. I think she's ready. All right. You know what time it is. Taste test. A little bit of olive. A little bit of veg. Tiny bit of cheese. And... Some noodle. Cheers, friends. Yep. It's missing salt and pepper. Now, I wish I could find my grinders because fresh ground pepper would be so good in this. Quick stir. Maybe just a little bit more Dorothy. Now grandma, grandma always used the spiral pasta that was multicolored, always. That's just the way it had to go because we want it to be a beautiful, colorful salad. Let's go back in for another taste test. Oop, got to get a new fork. Here we go. Again, a little pasta. This time I think I'm going to try to find some cauliflower. A little pepper. Oh, no cauliflower. I'll do broccoli again. Cheers. Much better. It needed that little bit of pepper and a little bit more of that dressing. Dorothy Lynch is really, really sweet. It's sweeter than your French. Oh, that red pepper. Mm. 
that brings back some memories. I tell you what, I really hope that you guys will try this salad and let me know if you do. I want to hear about it. Let me know if you changed it up like we did. Did you add olives? Did you add something else? What kind of peppers did you use? Thanks again for coming along for one of my recipes in the upstairs kitchen. Thank you for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye friends. Oh, I almost forgot. The longer this sits in the fridge, the better it's gonna get. And that's why you wanna make sure it's good and saucy. Get it, saucy, kinda like me. But I'm gonna teach you a little trick about when we cover this. You can use any kind of plastic wrap, but I happen to have these bowl covers. I got them, I think, at the Dollar Tree. Really cheap. I'm gonna throw this over it. And then, once it's on the bowl, I'm gonna press all the air out I can and press it down on the salad because it has plenty of room on the sides to move up. And that way it keeps it a little more airtight since this doesn't have a lid. Enjoy, my friends.